Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do this look for Halloween. Um, I was inspired by a picture I had seen on Pinterest of a girl who did half glam, half jack-o'-lantern. And it turned out actually really cool. Um, not like super amazing, but I mean, hey, for last minute Halloween, I think it looks pretty awesome. And then I put this contact in and let me tell you guys, like my eye is so red and irritated because like I am not used to like contacts and my nose keeps running because my eye and it's just like a pain. Um, it hurts too, it feels so weird. Like, and then feel normal. Oh yeah. So I need to like not move my eye so much. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, you can hit the little bell and it will let you know like every time I post. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. First thing I'm going to be doing is outlining where I want the glam side to be and where I want the jack-o'-lantern side to be. And I'm taking a wet and wild white coal pencil in Ghosted. And yeah, I'm just outlining where I want that to be at. Now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and I'm going into the shade Orange Soda. And this is gonna be my transition shade. Now I'm dipping into Burnt Orange and this is just going to deepen the outer V and putting that a little bit into the crease. Now on a smaller definer brush I'm going to be taking the shade Sienna in that same palette and just deepening the outer V. Now I'm taking the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette in Bling, Bo Bling Boss, I can't say it, and then I'm spritzing my brush with a little bit of Smashbox uh, primer water, and I'm taking Glitz and Glam, and that's going to be my all over crease color. Now I'm taking Urban Decay's Heavy Metal um, Glitter Eyeliner in Glam Rock and I'm just going to be outlining that cut crease with the glitter. I'm going to be using Maybelline's Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black on my Sigma, I think it's the EO5 or EO6 or something brush. Anyways, it's really tiny eyeliner brush. And yeah, I'm just going to be winging out my eyeliner. My camera overheated, so it stopped recording. But anyways, I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Omrezy Highlighter, and now I'm going in with Milani's Luminoso Blush. And now for my lower lash line, I'm just dipping back into um, Burnt Orange, Sienna, and Orange Soda. And yeah, I just did my mascara. And now I'm doing my eyelashes. And these are the Cream Shop Eyelashes in Legend. Now I'm going in with the Morphe 3502 palette. And I'm just taking this orange shade on like a fluffy blending brush. And I am just applying this all over that side of my face and you'll see later in the video I switched to um, a bigger brush because it covers obviously more area and it was a lot easier. with 
the Morphe palette, I'm going in with that shimmery orange that's right next to the matte one that I've been using, and I'm just kind of using it as a highlighter for that side of the face. So my camera literally just kept shutting off this whole time. So I already did my eye, and now I'm doing my lips, uh, well, the mouth area, and I use the Wet n Wild Paint Pot in black. Um, this is like a cream paint that they have out in the Halloween section, and it works really well. I just would say it's very shiny, so I even set everything with a black eyeshadow. You'll see that at the end, um, and it still was really shiny, so I don't know if I prefer this one. I feel like something that dries a little bit more matte and a little less um, gel-like. So in this tutorial, I'm kind of all over the place, but now I'm going in and creating that crack, making it darker, and just adding a couple of little uh, cracked pieces onto the glam side to make it look like more realistic, I guess. Now I'm moving on to the teeth and I'm just doing almost like a skull, kind of looking at where my teeth are and lining the lines up to where my actual real teeth are. And yeah, just going from there and adding a couple little cracks here and there. Um, now I'm going in with the shade Rustic and I'm just contouring out my cheeks a little bit before I start doing the lines. And as you can tell, I already smoked out um, my lips and the crack with the black eyeshadow in the same palette. It's called Noor. And yeah, I just ran it along those lines, just kind of blended it out uh, the best that I could. Taking that same Wet n Wild um, black paint pot and I'm just creating lines with my eyeliner brush down my face to look like a pumpkin. going back in with Noor and on like a smaller divider brush I'm going to be smoking out all the lines so they don't look so perfect and pristine.
Now I'm taking those lines down my neck and I'm just kind of making little like triangles at the end. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just smoking all those lines out the best that I can. Uh, if it looks a little messy, that's okay. And what didn't film was I went back through in between and kind of put well, whatever was left on my brush um, on the orange and it just made it look a little more grungy. Thank you. Thank you. Why am I so awkward?